just in time for Thanksgiving. So it's 25 degrees out, it's kind of chilly. I'm hiking out through the dunes because I want to show you something. There's a, there's a cranberry bog right here on Plum Island. So there is a very thick layer of frost covering the ground everywhere. It's so cold. So you can see when I get up close, there's little ice crystals, which looks really pretty in the sun when you get up close because it kind of sparkles and shines. But uh, yeah, there's, there's frost on pretty much everything. It's really crunchy. You can hear it crunching under my feet. So I'm walking down this trail and we see cranberries. We're getting closer. So I'm out here and a lot of the bogs are actually underwater. And a lot of people don't know this, but cranberries actually don't grow underwater and they don't grow in the water. They grow on short vines on land. So here they are. So this is what it looks like. These are the cranberry vines here. And like I said, it's flooded right now. It's usually not like this. This is completely covered with water. Um, so there's some here that I can show you. These are the vines and this is how they grow. And you can see it's pretty tedious if you were going to like pick every single one of these cranberries. So where they harvest them commercially, they actually flood the bogs and they have this machine that goes in and agitates all of the vines and all of the berries actually rise to the top of the water. So that's where a lot of people think that they grow in water and they don't. Um, so here's one that actually is off the vine I can show you. So this is what one of the, the fresh cranberries look like. If I can get the camera to focus in on that. This is one of the fresh cranberries. Um, so they start off as white and then through the summer they turn pink. So in the fall is when they turn to this deep red color and that's when they're good for harvesting. So that's pretty cool. So let's go see if we can find some that aren't underwater. We can get a better look. So I've been hiking out here for a little bit and uh, a lot of the bogs are still underwater. So this really sandy substrate is exactly what cranberry vines and bogs love to grow in. They thrive in it. So that's why cranberries love the beach, just like we do. It's getting windy, people. But that's okay, because wind and storms kick up some awesome shells. any of these cranberries is because they're actually protected. The only ones that I'm showing are, are the ones that have actually fallen off the vines on their own and they have a lottery every year and if you apply and win the lottery for the cranberries you can actually come out to the bogs with the rangers and pick them. There is a limited amount of what you can pick but that's the only way that you're allowed to pick them. So here's a fun fact about cranberries. There's about five percent of cranberries that aren't processed that are sold naturally in stores just like you see right here. The rest of the cranberries are actually processed and turned into a uh, sauce for Thanksgiving. Another fun fact, in 1994, cranberries were actually named the Massachusetts State Berry. So the New England Neptune is the Massachusetts State Shell, but the cranberry is Massachusetts State Berry. So since it's about to storm, I'm just going to go ahead and head right into the water. Um, I want to give you guys a good look at these cranberries. And also because I know me and I have every intention of not getting wet every time I leave my house, I have a change of socks and shoes and clothes in my car. So these are all the cranberries in the bog. So I am in the water now and uh, slushing around my feet are wet, but we're getting some pretty good views of the cranberries here. So it's worth it, worth it. But you can see what they look like under the water. I might take out my GoPro in a minute and see if we can get some underwater footage. So a storm. 
storm is starting to kick up. As you can see, it's raining. I threw my jacket on because now it is freezing. But um, I am gonna get out of here before it really kicks up. But thank you so much for taking time to learn about the cranberries on Plum Island. And I'll see you next time we hit